arrogant, and he is also rather good. Former Young England Amateur International, two fights, two wins, two stoppages, just 18. A babe in arms, but with all the confidence and arrogance of youth. Managed by the old campaigner, Brendan Ingle. His family hails from the Yemen, now domiciled in Yorkshire. There comes Brendan with the green Tamashanta. Looking very natty tonight, maybe he's just come off the golf course. Over the top rope. Where he goes. Our MC tonight is Alan Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Birmingham's National Indoor Arena. A special welcome now goes to all our viewers on Screen Sport in the British Isles, Sport Canal in Germany and Austria, Sportnet in Holland and Belgium, TV Sport in France and Switzerland, Prime Network in the United States of America and live on SABC in South Africa and Star Television throughout Asia. All your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. This is a flyweight contest over six three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the white and the red stripe from Wales, Andrew Bloomer. And his opponent in the blue corner with the leopard skin shorts from Sheffield and Yemen, Prince Nazim Hamid. Well, I'll tell you, the kids are the showing them. today, Andrew Bloomer scaled eight stone eight pounds. Nazim Hamid, eight stone two pounds. Your referee well, he's giving away is Jim Pretty, six pounds, Roy which is a lot at flyweight. Bloomer. More a bantamweight, really, Jimmy. I'll tell you what, Dave. He's had ten fights, he's lost ten fights. Even if it had been the other way around and he'd had ten and one ten, I still think he'd have his work cut out against this great young prospect, Nassim Hamid, a real star of the future. Well, if you're a boxing purist, you won't like this lad, because he does nothing according to the book. He's unorthodox, he showboats a lot, but he's a hard hitter. Round one, scheduled for six. Hamid in the leopard skin, Bloomer in the white. Referee is Jim Pridding. And I'm sure Hami will have his eyes focused on the rib cage of Bloomer, because he's a devastating little body puncher. Well, you saw Nassim Hamed start off Southport style, switch to Orthodox now, back to Southport. He's a real British version of Hector Camacho. And Bloomer is mesmerised at the moment. He'll probably be thinking now that he made a Bloomer taking this fight. <laughs> we saw Hamed's debut on Pro Box when he fought the very experienced Ricky Beard. Dropped him with a body shot. That was two rounds. Last time out, Sean Norman. That lasted two rounds. This Nassim, he goes for all the tricks in the book. So relaxed. I think it's good to watch. He can fight as well. Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. What would you tell Bloomer to do if he gets through the opening round? Because how do you handle this young man? Fight your own sort of fight. Ignore what the other fella does. Although that's not easy. moment Bloomer looks confused and I can't really say I blame him. So did the audience. And they're not getting hit. Well, Bloomer has got an enormous advantage both in height and reach and weight. As I said six pounds at flyweight is a lot believe me. At the moment although he's, he's thrown one or two shots Bloomer I don't think he's landed a glove on Hamid yet. Now, this young man, Nassim Hamid, 
Yeah, he works which amazes him in Sheffield with the likes of Cole Bomber Graham and Johnny Nelson, so I'm sure he won't be worried about giving away a couple of pounds. showboat in those days the kid can fight oh he's a tremendous prospect there's absolutely no doubt about that Jim Pridding's telling him to cut out the showboating look at the damage on Bloomer's nose yes he's already bleeding quite heavily from the nose as the Welshman <laughs> hammered round no doubt about that <laughs> Brendan Ingot one of the most colourful charismatic managers and trainers in British boxing as a distinct stable style in the Brendan Ingle stable they're all individualists they're all a little bit quirky I guess you could say the entire stable's a little bit off the wall but it's successful my word is it successful and you can see whatever he does in the ring he's not afraid to listen Jim no you know there's a time for play and there's a time for work and right now he's got his working cap on. I'm not talking about Brendan, I'm talking about Nassim. And you know, he's listening now, he's not he's not laughing and smiling with with his with his mentor. Oh, he's listening very carefully to the instructions being delivered. Second well, you can see a, a little graze as well on Bloomer's left temple. Bloomer from Wales and the white Prince Nassim Hamed. Originally from Yemen, now from Sheffield. Bit of a change that, isn't it? In the leopard skin. He's a very strong young man, though, Nassim. He's um, not just uh, a showboat. He's got a lot of physical strength. Well, like I said, both his previous fights have ended in round two, and he's looking to do a job on Bloomer now in round two. He's certainly busking him up, Dave. Left, got him, and that's it. A third successive second round win. Here come the acrobatics, the arrogant swagger. Three fights, three wins, three stoppages, and three wins all in the second round. You can't argue with that. <laughs> you certainly can't. Loves the exposure, loves the cameras, and rightly so. Well, you, I don't know if you can make out what Nassim Ahmed's saying. He's saying, bring on Robbie Regan. Robbie Regan is the British flyweight champion. Whoops, there he goes again. A little bit of breakdown. <laughs> It'd be funny if he broke a leg one day, wouldn't it? Well, not funny, but some people might say it's a good serving, right? Brendan English says...